Hey y'all, let's check out Athis Estates. All you gotta do is say Hey y'all, so today we're gonna be checking out this Japanese inspired garden and spa. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. I'm Shy in Second Life, and on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life. And I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So right off the top, I am not sure if this is going to be a two-parter. This land is huge. Um, I did pop around a little bit just to see like when I panned out the land was so large. I didn't know if all of it was like belonged to Athis or if there was another part that had like a different name. Um, I think we'll go straight and then come back and check that out. So there is a bridge that connects to like a different part. And that part is named something differently. When I popped over there, it was a little bit of something, but not much. So we won't be looking at that. When you guys come here, you guys will be able to check that out um, yourselves. But even outside of that, the part that is um, still under the name Athis on the land it's huge y'all it's huge and i want to look at everything i really do so another beautiful japanese inspired land i came here earlier just to see what was going on fun fact this is some place that i told myself i was going to show you guys look how yummy that looks a while ago but when i came here the land did not look like this did not look like this i'm a firm believer in um divine intervention and i feel like in this instance that definitely was something that was going on because i had put together an outfit and everything to come and visit that land but it was a very small garden and i was like it's not even really a lot to the garden so when i came back really um in the mind frame of just like exploring more just like okay well we'll see the garden and it was like connected to like a neighborhood so i was like okay well we can look at the garden and then we can check out the neighborhood and that'll be the video then when i came and i tp'd in it was this like this this was not at all how it was um oh i've had this landmark for about a month i know it's bad it's bad it might have even been um longer than that but i'm glad that i waited to view the land because this is way better in my opinion um than what i had saw initially it was still very beautiful but it was nothing um in comparison to what they have now so real quick i want to show you guys my holdables outfit ain't hitting on nothing so we ain't, we ain't focusing on that but look how cute my little croissant is so i got my croissant with the little flowers and then i have some cookies with my little lip gloss and my wallet it's super cute so those are my holdables for today so this is like a really cute um japanese restaurant if you will not if you will that's what it is so i am i'm on a roll with my japanese places now initially when i first um when i first came the first time i came here it was not given japanese it was given like colonial country vibes very much so like 1800s like mid 1800 1850s the housing the houses looked very dated and it was like it was a community it was a community i specifically remember that and that was part of the reason why i didn't want to really venture around because i don't really look around communities because it's a community and i like to visit spaces and places where um we have access to pretty much everything so like if we see a house it's a house that was made for the land for us to actually go into and enjoy and so that was not the case with um the way that this place was before so really quickly like right out here, it's like a bridge, not too far. We actually can look around here. 
how pretty is this these beautiful sunflowers and all these butterflies the shared environment i am not in the shared environment now the shared environment was really really nice but by the time i came here it is approximately 12 26 a.m for me so um the shared environment definitely goes along with second life so it was very dark when i got here you guys this huge manor up there mm -hmm, i thought we were gonna look through this i thought we were gonna look through this when i tell you i tried to tp over there they said if you don't get your ass out from around here you got 10 seconds baby so that place we we shall not be seen so this bridge right here i'm just walking over everything this bridge takes you to like the other part it's a completely different sam um we won't be traveling over there but when you come just know that that is a place that you can um go over to now what i did notice was that um this is so cute with the water and then they have a beautiful little bench it's so like serene and just has a really nice peaceful vibe to it look at how the the um shared environment is like beaming off of the water look how pretty that looks you guys you guys know you know i love, I love some water I love some water but yeah so when I went over um across the bridge to kind of see if it was even some place that I would want to show you guys it has a lot of buildings but I don't know if everything is kind of like still in the making because a lot of the buildings were um empty so this place is beyond scenic when I tell you look at the reds it just uh this is another one of those places where you really have to come here just me touring around it with you guys is cool and all but you guys gotta gotta see it with your own eyes see it up close be able to pan in on your own you know so i really do love how a lot of the spaces are um separated by bridges and so that makes the space have a very like windy twisty type um feel to it because everything kind of goes in different directions you can't like take one path to get to everything and i do like that so this definitely is the type of land that you can easily get um, lost on and turned around. But I actually like that because it gives you the opportunity to find like a different space that's even more serene. It's so pretty. They have a lot of benches. Um, I do like that although it is quite walky they do give you the option to have like some benches to sit on if you just want to kind of like chill and maybe like just rest up for a little bit take some pictures and things like that the pictures would be amazing here so all of these little houses like this they have something in them i'm trying to figure out how to get to them but they're a little tricky so I love all of the trees, all of the flowers. I love these little paper lanterns. When I was going through trying to find like a different shared environment before I picked this one, I went to midnight because I saw all of the paper lanterns. I was like, I bet you this place is beautiful at night. And it is. Let me show you guys real quick. So look at this, y'all. I'm telling you, when I saw all of the paper lanterns that they had, I knew that this land was going to be beautiful at night. Look at how pretty it is. Everything is so lit up. And then you have like the beautiful lanterns just like shining the way. And then they also have the beautiful stars in the sky is so pretty just like i knew it would be so this land definitely is beautiful in any light it is so so pretty at night but of course that's way too dark for us to venture around i want us to be able to look at things they have a lot of beautiful um japanese inspired houses and i really really love them so this is like a little gaming area. I don't know if this is like a game room, but it's like a gaming, like they had like that little gaming area. What is so funny, this is really off topic, but my son, oh, look at this beautiful table. My son um, today, um, he came into the kitchen and he was like, like, just like looking like he was kind of like moping around. And I'm like, what's going on? And he's like, oh, nothing. I'm like, are you bored? He's like, yeah, I'm bored. Because it's like, of course, as you know, the mom, you know, you know, you know, the different emotions of your kids. You're like, OK, you're moping around, but it's not like a sad mope. It's like a bored mope. And so I'm like, are you bored? He's like, yeah. So my it was like, 
it was like eight at this time, like 8 p.m. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, did you want to watch a movie? He's like, no. I'm like, do you want to play a game? He's like, no. I'm like, okay. Um, normally he um is on his PS5, and I see him rarely over the weekends. And so I'm like, okay, well, it's a little late to like go out and do something like. So what, what do you want to do? Like, do you have any idea what you want to do? He's like, no. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, you want to chill with me? You know, I'm just making up some vittles or something or stuff like that. So I'm like, if you want to come chill with me, you can come chill with me. I'm just in the kitchen. And he's like, no. I'm like, okay, well, what what, what, what would help you, you know, feel a little bit better and you're, and you're bored? And I'm like, because I can't come up with anything. So I'm like, perhaps there are some things that you can come up with. And so he goes... Um, I would like some V-Bucks. I'm like, you would like some V-Bucks? I'm like, okay. So I went on ahead and I got him some V-Bucks. And I'm just like, was that what the plan was all along? Did I get played? Did I get played? I do believe that my son knows me um, just as well as I know him. Of course, I know him a little bit more, but he's very... Um, he knows what to say to me to get the things that he wants and he knows how to look to get the things that he wants and so i'm just like did i get played did i get played and i always realize or i always think about that after the flat after the fact like once the playing has already taken place is this supposed to be cheese i thought it was cake at first it's giving bread so i, I don't know I, I refuse to believe that that's supposed to be cheese but i thought that was funny i'm like you're bored he told me like oh none of his friends were on the game and so i'm like okay but then you asked for v bucks and like immediately after okay this a little spicy game what is the most sexually daring thing you've ever done i'm like immediately after you got the v bucks i hear him on the game like loud like he normally is and i'm like did i get played i think i got played so next time I'm going to be more mindful and be like, listen, don't try to play me because I know he'll he'll promise that's not what it was. It's no mom. That wasn't what I what it was. I was just thinking about some V bucks. And so that's why I asked, look, this beautiful look at this beautiful waterfall. Look at it. They have all of these are these like cherry blossom trees. So beautiful. Look at this path. Oh. This is more of, in my opinion, this is more of like a really beautiful, like relaxing place to go to. Beautiful for pictures, very nice for a first date, very nice for a date, period, in my opinion. Um, but it feels so like such an intimate space. It's so calming and peaceful. Like, look at all of that. All the little flowers falling then you have the beautiful water just bouncing off of the rocks it's just so peaceful and so serene i really really love this space when i tell you guys it looked nothing like this it looked nothing like this and then the crazy part about it was the only part that I was liking, which way we're going to go? We'll go this way. The only part that I was liking was when I first dropped down um, at, um, before, they re before they've redone this space. I just liked the part where you drop down. It was like a little flower garden, but it was very, very small, very, very contained. And, I'm, and I would have just did it and never came back because it was nothing else that was appealing to me because it was a community. So I'm like, I'm not going to roam around a community and I don't live here. I just, I, I never feel completely comfortable doing that, which is a large part of the reason why I rarely um, travel or tour um, communities. Because I'm like, it's a community and I just kind of feel like that's such a private space to um, be in. I don't feel like that's a space that's meant for touring although like you can go and see what they got going on and stuff like that but it's like people live here and so I don't want to accidentally walk into somebody's house because I'm thinking that this is like just something that I could be able to see but I know when it's a community I can't do that so I just I really just I kind of steer away from communities I don't come across a lot of them but when I do I will um, steer away from them 
So this is the spa. So we have to remember this is a garden and spa. So we've seen plenty of the garden, lots of Zen areas and um, beautiful spaces, but this is the spa. So I love how in all of the other houses, they had like a very dark neutral tone, almost like a cherry wood. But now in here, it's much lighter. So it has a nice, more open, airy feel to it. It doesn't feel um, as closed in as the other spaces or I'm gonna say cozy so like this definitely feels like a larger space even though it's about the same size as the other lands um the not the other lands the other houses that we've been in or particularly the house that we just left that had the um the little food area um the little food table but I really really like this I love this seat I want to look at the the little lights they have there but i love this i feel like we saw this on i want to say the last land but i'm not sure this is so pretty look at this so i will say that i've been coming across quite a bit of japanese inspired lands promise i'm not doing that on purpose i promise i am not i'm still um like i've been saying like in the last couple of videos that i'm still like sifting through um well not sifting through but like going through the landmarks that i've had saved so that um we can move on from them and have already seen those places because Halloween is coming around. You know, I saw on Facebook, you know, I saw somebody put up something for like a haunted Halloween thing already because they're getting started. Look at this, so beautiful. You know, I do not like sparkling water. I do not like lemon water, love it. Sparkling water, no. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel like just if you gotta drink some sparkling water, just go ahead and drink a pop. Just go ahead and drink a pop, because that's what you really want. That's what you really I refuse to believe that people like enjoy sparkling water. I, it doesn't. It it tastes like nothing with bubbles. Cause it's just water with like bubbles. I, and I I don't like it. I just don't like it. This looks so relaxing. A little lemon bath, if you will. That looks like it would be really, really good for like exfoliating. I love how they have the little slippers. Let's look at the slippers. This is super cute. So they have the little unisex slippers and then you get some towels here. It's so relaxing. Then they have this little bath, so nice. And then what's out here? This seems like more of like a little meditation space with the beautiful um, pond in front. Very nice. This is really nice. And then they have the little koi fish in the pond. Super nice. Let's see. We can get in just a little bit closer without going in the water. Yeah, look at the pretty koi fish. So nice. All of this, a bunch of different fish in there. And so then they have the little seating spaces. This is super nice. Everything is just so as usual the japanese inspired lands they stay on brand through and through and i love a cohesive land i do i don't mind a land that um goes in two different themes like if it's a summer theme and then while you're walking on the path you'll see a little bit of snow and then you'll see even more snow and it'll like transition into like a completely different themes into a completely different theme i don't mind those lands but the lands i've come to some lands and they were they were just like all over the place i'm thinking this is like a mud bath that's what i'm getting from like the brown you know you see that yeah it's giving mud bath um the beautiful orchids i don't like the lands that um, i don't enjoy i'm not gonna say i don't like but i don't really enjoy the lands where the theme is um it's kind of all over the place. Like I get the creativity behind that, but I, I love cohesiveness. I love 
feeling like I'm being transported on this is giving mud bath. I don't know what that bath is over there. This is giving mud bath. Um, I love feeling like I'm, I've been transported into a space, you know. I don't want to necessarily, this looks like a mirror's um, sitting space from the one straight ahead. I don't want to feel like I'm kind of all over the place. I want to feel like I'm actually in that specific space through and through. And so the Chinese um, and Japanese inspired lands always, always keep me in that feeling. They always keep me in that um, mind frame that it's like, it definitely teleports me to that space or makes me feel like if I was in Japan, this is something that I would come across and like it's very on brand. They don't try to overdo it. Everything is very um, mildly done for lack of a better word. And I really, really appreciate that. So this is like a beautiful, tranquil um, yoga space. Also probably a really nice space for like meditation. They have the singing bowls. I have a singing bowl in real life and I love it. I love it. It is so um, peaceful and calming. I love it. And I also love like those singing bowl channels that they have on YouTube that you can like watch. And they'll like, they'll have a guy that'll play a singing bowl for like hours. I said, sir, sir, you, you use a bad one for that because I'd have I'd, I'd been tired. So look at these beautiful flowers. They look like orchids. I'm not really familiar with this type of flower but it looks it's, it looks like orchid in that family you know but this space is absolutely beautiful so as i suspected there will be a part two make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time